Now the reason I'm making a video here today is because uh, this, this place actually reminds me of a dream I had once. So I was walking along and uh, what happened is the scenery, I think I was walking in a city or something like this, the scenery would just change from city to beach almost immediately. And it reminds me, uh, it reminds me of this place. This is a beach in Tenerife. Uh, sadly, one of the most touristy uh, places in the Canary Islands, but but it's, it's still kind of a nice place. You know, there's still lots of things to do here. Still nice scenery, nice beaches, and uh, you can find like hidden places like this. You know, um, obviously it's very near. It's very near everyone else. You know, there's plenty of people here. But you can still find these secluded, uh, secluded areas like this little cave area. I, to be honest, I think this would actually be a good place to do uh, to jump into the sea. Because if you look, it's quite a decent drop. But at the same time, I think the water is actually quite deep there. So you could probably do a quite, you know, quite a nice jump from there, or you know, from even up there even. But but yeah. So this this reminds me of uh, a dream I had. Well, I'm walking along the city. And the scene just changed to this beach. You know, it was very similar to this. I think there was maybe a couple more, maybe the rocks were higher up. But there was definitely this sort of, this uh, overhanging bank of rocks in this dream. And uh, it just, it, I thought I'd just make this video to just, to just uh, talk about it a little bit because I think a lot of us actually have dreams either about places we've already seen or been to, or, you know, we have a dream and then we find that place in real life. And I think when you have that congruence, when you have that sort of synchronicity where you're doing things in your waking life that seem like they could be in a dream, or you know, that, that you've had a dream about doing, uh, I think that's when you know you're, you're doing the right sort of thing. Like, so say if you always have a dream uh, where you're hiking in a forest, right, or you're doing a base jump, or you're, you know, you're in, maybe you're in the North Pole, you're doing some, some sort of Arctic expedition. If you keep having those dreams, and if, especially if when you wake up from those dreams, you're super excited about them. You know, you're very, you've got a lot of adrenaline in your system. You're excited. You you want to have that experience in, in real life. I think when you get to that point, you know that you should move in that direction. This is certainly the case with me, and to be honest, it's mainly with. Um, I think it's most commonly experienced with travel and things like that. But when you have, when you constantly have dreams of these places, you know, different experiences, it's. I, th I think it's your subconscious mind telling you that you should, you know, experience those things in waking life. And even if it wasn't that, even if your subconscious mind wasn't or couldn't tell you that uh, that information in a dream, I still think it's great for lucid dreamers to do things like just go on a random trip, you know, somewhere that you've never been to before, somewhere that's off the beaten track. Obviously, <laughs> Tenerife is not off the beaten track. It's quite a popular destination, but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is. Go somewhere you've never been before. And just by doing that, just by having the experience of something new, right? Something that something that you've not something that you've not done before, not only will you have more vivid dreams, but they'll more likely to be lucid. I said I said this before when I was in Wales, I was walking through the forest with the river. Uh, I don't know if you remember that video. But yeah, what I'm saying is just the more experiences you have in your waking life, the more likely it is that you'll have a lucid dream and this has been shown I, I know a lot of people that this has been the case for and I, I you know whenever I get emails from people they say things like I went on this trip and then I had these really intense dreams you know or you know I, I went to somewhere new and then this, the next night I had these really intense dreams I was lucid in one of them it's quite a common story uh, so I think there's something behind that so yeah just book a trip Go somewhere random and see what happens.